Taken was a hugely influential movie when it came out. It proved that Liam Neeson in his mid-50s could work as a believable action star. Not only did it inspire two sequels and a TV series, but also a string of Liam Neeson action vehicles. The A-Team, The Grey, Unknown, Nonstop, A Walk Among the Tombstones, Run All Night, The Commuter, etc. And a string of actors in their 50s leading an action film. Kingsman, The Secret Service, Edge of Darkness, John Wick, Everly, Three Days to Kill, etc. That brings us to 2014's The Equalizer, arguably one of the best of the Taken-esque films, this time starring a then 59-year-old Denzel Washington as a vigilante trying to punish evildoers, based on a TV series of the same name. It wasn't the greatest movie ever, and still wasn't as entertaining as the original Taken, but it was solid enough in its own right. Now, four years later, we have a sequel. I will say this for The Equalizer 2, it's better than any of the Taken sequels. The film follows Robert McCall, Washington. He has moved on from his job at the Home Mart, a fictionalized Lowe's Home Depot, that he worked at in the previous movie and now works as a driver for Lyft. He uses this as a way to travel around and find wrongs that need righted. However, when one of his old friends is murdered, he decides to take things personal. The Equalizer 2 is the best movie I've seen in the past month outside of Ant-Man and the Wasp, which says less about the quality of the film and more about the low quality of films I've seen over the past few weeks. The movie manages the unique task of being both engaging and boring. Much of the story points are borrowed from the original. There are enough changes to make the film feel somewhat original, however, not enough to distract you from the glaring similarities. It is worth noting that this sequel leaves a fair amount of questions unresolved. Whether these are intended for another sequel or just forgotten about are unknown, but does give the movie an incomplete feel. Nevertheless, you are more than ready to leave when the credits start rolling. Equalizer 2 falls into the standard lull for which 2018 movies will be known. It's not bad, but certainly not good enough for a full movie ticket price. Its percentage of good and bad elements are perfectly equal, so the title is on the nose. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page.